To build or not to build, that is the question. Now let's go over the pros and cons of building and buying your first fixed gear bike. Well, the biggest appeal to building your first fixed gear bike is that you get to choose the components and you get to build a bike, the exact bike that you want. If you're an experienced cyclist and you know what kind of riding you'll do, and you know what kind of ride characteristics that you're looking for, it's probably best to build your own bike. Because you're specking the bike yourself, you won't have to do any upgrading for a long time, assuming you do your research and get high quality components. This means that building your own fixed gear can potentially save money in the long run. And you'll also get a unique bike that you built yourself with your own two hands that could be a source of pride and joy, blah blah blah. So building your first fixed gear can be a really viable option if you know exactly what you're looking for and you have to do limited research and you have experience building bikes. But Building a bike as opposed to buying it complete can have a pretty high initial cost. If you're buying new components, a mid-range fixed gear build can cost upwards to $800 or even more than that. Additionally, tools, if you don't already have them, can cost another $100. And on top of that, you have to do a lot of research before building your bike and spending your money on these components. You have to do your research on every single component, which can lead to about 12 hours or even more of your time. If you don't have any experience building bikes, you still can build your own bike. I would just highly recommend that you either have an experienced friend or a competent shop help guide you along the way because trying to figure it out yourself can be pretty frustrating. I know from firsthand experience. So those are the pretty big pros and cons of building your own bike. So now let's go on to the pros and cons of buying a complete bike. When you buy a complete bike, you really get your money's worth. A pretty solid entry level fix here can cost only about half as much as a comparable fixed gear build and click the card to see my recommendation. Complete bikes, whether from a shop or from online, either come entirely assembled or mostly assembled, which is a huge plus for anyone that has very limited bike mechanic experience. A complete fix gear gives a less frustrating platform to learn bike mechanics since you can slowly upgrade parts rather than trying to build an entire bike from scratch. Although complete options gave a pretty limited range of customizability, the parts are plenty good enough and you won't be disappointed if you haven't found your preferences yet when it comes to bike componentry. So buying a complete bike is, in my opinion, the way to go if you have very limited bike experience and you want to try it out on a relatively affordable price. But buying a complete bike is not without its drawbacks. Complete bikes don't give you the exact bike that you want, which leaves a lot of room for upgrading components along the way to something that you would prefer. This means that you will potentially spend a lot more money down the line, and the long-term cost of either buying a complete bike or building your own bike kind of washes out. Oftentimes, complete bikes can end up costing the same amount as a custom build in the long term if you find yourself wanting to upgrade a lot of your components. So, should you build or should you buy your first fixed gear bike? Well, for a first fixed gear bike, I would recommend buying a complete. Complete bikes range from beginner standard bikes to some pretty nice mid-range stuff. So no matter what level of experience that you have cycling, there is probably a complete bike that will give you a pretty good bang for your buck. Buying a complete bike is usually a lot easier, a lot cheaper, and for first timers, it really gets you on the road faster, which is what really matters. If you have any questions, do feel free to leave a comment below, and I will be more than happy to help you with any of your bicycle endeavors. And with that, I hope y'all are that much closer to getting out and riding. And until next time, toodaloo.